Here comes Morning Star. She's a 57-foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2003 by Les Wilson. We're not 100% sure who fitted her out, but I think it was Les Wilson who did the fit out as well. She was last blacked in April 2023, just under a year ago. The paintwork's in nice condition. The current owners bought her in March 2020, and we've got a copy of the full survey that they commissioned. That's in the office, should you want to look at it. Four anodes on her. They were okay at the last blacking. It's got a bit of a storm leg protecting thing at the back deck there. Solar panels on the roof, 430 watts. There's a Victron MPPT controller, solar controller for those. Nice big windows. Unusual chimney flu um, chimney stack on the top. I think they're quite good for dra for draft on the solid fuel stove. Two gas bottles in the front locker there, 13 kilo with a changeover valve. The well deck itself is four foot six inches long. Nice table there, the seats either side, so you can sit down and eat or play games. Scrabble used to be our game on the narrowboat. Glazed cratch board, There's storage under the seats. The water tank's under my feet here, stainless steel, 500 litres. Glazed front doors, and in we go. She fits out an oak face ply, carpets, on the floor in here. The saloon measures nine feet long. Head height is six foot six. There's plenty of room in here for a couple of armchairs or a sofa bed, whatever you like really. A few shelves dotted around. There's a cupboard in the corner here. That's a CD radio. It's a JVC. Bumble's just checking in there. Storage in this seat under here. Uh, step rather. This is a diesel stove. It's a bubble. More shells under the gunnels here. And there's a 32 inch LG television on the wall there. Next is the, the, the dinette. It's a bit unusual. It's got bench seats either side, but it's a freestanding table. It's got storage underneath, and that does convert into a, I guess, a cosy spare double bed. The dinette itself is 5 feet 10. Right, the galley, 9 feet long. Decent sized washing machine in there. It's a Samsung 9 kilo. There's a microwave above it. The work tops a sort of a granite effect laminate. The fridge is a 12 volt inlander with an ice box. Really good these pull out shelves. You can get to the back. Those um, shelves swing round as well. So plenty of storage in there. Stainless steel sink and drainer. The cookers are Stowe's 500 DIT, four burner gas hob oven and grill. That grill folds round against the side hatch, that's to keep the swan's heads out. Or any unwelcome visitors, I suppose. Bank of three drawers here next to the cupboard. More pull-out shelves. So everything you need in here, really. Plenty of storage, all the necessary utilities. And that's the view down from the aft end of the galley. Slider window above the sink there, by the way, that's worth noting. You just saw under the gunnel there another grill. That's for the front door to keep out unwanted things. The loo is a pump out. It's a sea land. That basin is a countersunk plastic. There's a radiator in here and the shower is over the bath there with a curtain that pulls across. Everything you need in here. Right, down the corridor into the bedroom. The bedroom measures 10 feet 3 inches long. Storage underneath. The bed itself measures six foot two by four feet. And the mattresses on top of the bed here, they're actually, they were going to be fashioned into the mattress for the dinette conversion, but it's not been done yet, but they're there if you want them. And at the foot of the bed, lots of storage. There's a double wardrobe here with shelves down one side. And underneath, a couple of drawers and a cupboard or two cupboards under there. So loads of areas to put things. Up into the engine room. There's a little storage cupboard in here. That yellow thing's a wet vac, it's quite useful. It's a three kilowatt Victron inverter charger. You can just see the solar controller next to it. On the other side you've got storage shelves and out onto the back deck. 
That's the view from the helm. The engine's in here, it's a Beta 38, PRM gearbox. The battery's on the right hand side of the screen. There's four domestic batteries, 150 amp hours each, and one starter. The starter was new in 2022, as was one of the alternators. So have another walk back through. The water on board, it's heated by the engine and there's also an immersion heater if you're hooked up to landline. Central heating, there's a back boiler on the stove that's attached to three radiators. There's also an electric frost heater. Lovely boat this. I think I said the water tank is stainless steel. There's a galvanic isolator on board as well. So there we go. Morning Star. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price there is Bumble saying goodbye. Go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.